Now, joining us now to discuss COVID-19 is my doctor, Dr. Nathan Ford. Welcome to the Black Report, Dr. Ford. Thank you so much, Bree. Thank, thank you, you thank for you. joining thank us. You. Now, my first question, what are your thoughts about social distancing? Do you think that six feet is enough? Yeah, it's a great question. Um, and when we're talking about social distancing, we're talking about the six feet um, we're talking about large droplets. And those are the droplets that we make when we're talking, mm -hmm. you know, some of us more than others. Um, coughing, sneezing can project out a little further, um, but we're talking about large droplets. So in that case, the reason we have six feet is because we, we figure that, you know, by about six feet, it's dropping to below the level of your waist down to the ground. You're not likely to inhale those larger droplets. So in that instance, yes, six feet is important, but you know, those kind of scenarios are, how can I say it? You know, they're, they're on paper, they're in a mm -hmm. bubble. What we're also seeing now, and we've even brought in some, some uh, physicists that are analyzing something called aerosolization. Mm -hmm. Think about aerosols like we spray a, uh, a hairspray can. Right. But you also have to think about, you know, if you have a neighbor that's barbecuing a few houses away, if you can smell that, that those are aerosolized particles. Mm -hmm. So... What some of the physicists are saying is, you know, we need to evaluate whether or not, uh, you know, that this spread can happen through uh, aerosolization. That's why it's really important to still wear masks. Um, and, and that's number one. Number two, um, indoor situations without windows being open, without circulating air, if we have recirculating air, you know, there's a chance that even those larger droplets, not just the aerosolized droplets, they can be recirculated. Um, and they're just, you know, they're not dropping to the ground as much. If you have your AC pumping, then they're just getting pushed around and around and around. And so, you know, yes, if, if you and I are sitting outside on a windy day mm -hmm. and, um, you know, we're six feet apart, mm -hmm. then absolutely. The six feet of distance will provide us, uh, you know, a, a reasonable amount of protection. Would I say that we should be sitting there not wearing masks? Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. You know, okay. uh, this is an evolving science. It's a new disease. We're learning about it as we go along. And it's important to um, kind of recognize and understand that and not take something that the science community said, you know, a month ago that contradicts what you know we're saying today as oh they don't know what they're talking about no this is the nature of science and medical science especially as we learn more we we might have to go back and change some of our previous recommendations and update wow. things and it's just about being uh patient and staying aware and, and using some common sense Okay. Yeah, hey, please have that common sense and wear the mask. You know, mm -hmm. Dr. Nathan Ford joining us here on The Black Report. Now, this coronavirus, basically all of 2020 has felt like, but wait, there's more. You know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> are we beating the virus yet? Are, are we beating this? Oof. You know, uh, Kane, I just have to be honest. The short answer is no, absolutely not. Mm -hmm. um, but we are learning more. Um, we are making progress, especially in the last couple of weeks, you know, as far as the numbers go. And, you know, we have to measure this by metrics, right? And if we look at where we were, you know, in the kind of the beginning, the early peak, right, March, April, we were seeing, you know, daily new cases in the, you know, 30,000 or so, mm -hmm. you know, at, at the peak. Well, you know, as we're aware, like end of July, into beginning of August, we were seeing cases up as high as like 60, 70,000 a day, new cases. Um, and if we look at those daily new cases now, we're sloping back down, which is great, but we're still at about, you know, 40,000 new cases, I think, as of yesterday. Um, and the, the past week average is still about 40,000 new cases each day. Mm, so we're right. trending in the right direction again, because we've already done this. We've already sloped down and then gone way back up. Mm -hmm. um, so from that metric, no, we're not beating it. We're, we're again going in the right direction, which is very positive. Uh, and then if we look at, you know, the, the most ominous metric, but also very, very important is the daily new deaths. Mm -hmm. You know, during that peak when New York was being hit so hard, you know, we saw thousands of new deaths a day. And, and, you know, trailing this last peak, because what we see is a spike in cases, mm -hmm. and then a few weeks later is when we see the, the death effect. 
you know, trailing that. And what we are uh, seeing now is still, you know, we're still seeing daily new deaths averaging about a thousand over the past week, yeah. which is down a little bit from the previous week, but it's nowhere near where we need to be. We need to do much better. And I think, you know, since we are seeing a, a downtrend in daily new cases, mm -hmm. if we stay on course here and, you know, continue to do the things we need to do, we should see uh, the rate of deaths follow that. But yeah. We're by no means beating it. We're, we're again going in the right direction, but we really need to stay the course here to even, you know, consider uh, seeing the end of this. Yeah, you're so right. Now, I'm hearing if you're around someone with COVID-19, you should get tested or you shouldn't. What should we do if we come in contact with someone with COVID-19? What exactly should oh. we do? Great question. And this is a common question. You know, I, I came up with a mnemonic called IDLE, I-D-L-E. And it's easy to remember because there's a lot of information out there. And, you know, I think the two knee jerk reactions are one is like panic. Oh, shoot. What should I do? Mm -hmm. And the other one is I'm fine. I don't feel anything. So so what if I had contact with someone? I'm just going to go about my life. I, I think both of those obviously can be pretty bad. But if you idle, number I, number one, I isolate. Isolate yourself. If you know, if someone says, hey, I got I tested positive and you were with that person in the last three, four days, mm -hmm. um, just isolate. Stay home. If you live with people, isolate to your bedroom. You know, it's it's not convenient. It sucks, but it's it's patriotic. And, mm -hmm. you know, and it's human. It's humanistic. You're doing it for your fellow, you know, uh, brother or sister. OK. Mm -hmm. And when you isolate, how many days uh, should you isolate for? I'm sorry. Well, at first, you know, so isolating at first is depending on your test. Okay. Right. So isolate and then I'll tell you. So if you're just strictly going to isolate and not test at all, then you want to isolate for 10 days to make sure you don't have any symptoms come on. You know, the average time, most people have symptoms by five days. But just to play it safe, wait 10 days. And if you do have symptoms, you want to wait 10 days after the onset of symptoms. Okay. okay to isolate. But in the in the short term, if you just if you're hot off the press of someone telling you that, that they tested positive, isolate, do your test. So you're isolating your D is do a test, which should be the PCR test, not the antibody, not the finger stick test, because that's not going to be positive yet. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and then your L is just as important as isolating. Let people know. So if you were in contact with other people, mm -hmm. right, since you were in contact with this infected person. Call them, text them, let them know. Them you know, know, this is contact tracing. Let's do our own contact tracing and yep. just let them know. Hey, I was exposed. I was with you. It's important that you idle. You yes. chill. You know, don't panic. Don't go around like nothing happened. Just idle. Do your own testing. And then E um, is just evaluate, which is monitoring yourself to see if you have any symptoms and, uh, you know, going back through it. If you do have symptoms, you know. Uh, I'm happy to talk about that as well. But okay. if you idle, we're going to stop the spread. You're going to be, you know, you have a plan. If you have a plan, you're less likely to be panicked or, or worried. Yes. Love that. That's a good acronym. I yes. yes, love it, Dr. Ford. I'm so sorry. Thank we you. actually thank ran out of time. We wish we could have you on longer, but I just want to thank you so much for joining yeah. us today yes. on Appreciate The Black that. Report. No and you're welcome oh, back, brother. Pleasure. Yes, you are welcome back thank anytime. You. Thank you. I would love that. Thank you very much. <laughs> right. Thank you, Absolutely. Thanks, Dr. Ford. I love that. Coming up, find out which.